to a fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round. We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. 23 yard line. down Murray now they go screen it's complete and he is going to lose yardage here it'll go as a loss of three right away and it's second down you know the key to a good screen pass is don't you but you're going to tell me good blocking well good blocking eventually but first is good acting you want to let the defenders go past you leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen and then you do your blocking how about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. Shotgun now for Murray. And he comes back with one complete. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Seven-yard line. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 37-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Operating from the gun, Brennan. That's caught by Hollister. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Try and run the option to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play, and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 
14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Back to the ground on first it's McCaffrey and he'll get three down to the 34 yard line. He's a ball carrier. Not a whole lot there the defense was ready it looked for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one. Huh? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. McCaffrey. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 28. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Brings up third and two. Cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Oh, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. From the right hash, this from 48. 48-yard attempt. And this one is right down the middle. Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. To throw, it's Murray. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. And he was able to bat it away. Complete pass. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Escaping the pressure right. This one caught by Isabella. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. 
Here's Murray from midfield. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Just one catch for him last week in the wild card win, but getting involved early here and picks up the first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Well, again, they'll throw with Murray. Flushed out right. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now a give, right side. Crowder, and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second and 12 at the 14-yard line. step on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12 from the gun Murray is going to hit his man out of the backfield complete and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11 a three yard call it a gain of three and that'll lead here to a third down that's the end of the first three nothing after one on EA Sports nothing seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback and makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. At their own 21-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And after the field goal last time, see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick other than the extra point. That's it. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Had a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. You call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Gun on third down. 
Brennan, and he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion, and to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how a drive you're supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuff to animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Brings up third down. for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. From the gun, Murray. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. Just a 30-yard punt that time. And possession will switch hands first and 10. 36-yard punt. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go, and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Here's McCaffrey. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Panthers on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Off the play fake, Brennan. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Taken in at the 22. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Ooh. 
ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Nick Bosa breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? Now left side, a completion to his tight end. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. The Cardinals on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. Operating from the gun, Murray. He finds his target, it's Crowder. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. First down, Arizona. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful Divisional Round Weekend. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brings up second and 12 at the 41-yard line. Second and 12, Murray. That ball complete to Isabella. Murray they get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. It's a game of 11, and it's third down. He's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. He was, it'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll give him a fresh set of downs. First down, Cardinals. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Murray fighting, lost the football. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. From the gun, Murray. He's going to look deep down the field. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target. And it's third down. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed. But this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air. But no, incomplete. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Operating from the gun, Murray. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. 
Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands and you pin him inside the five-yard line. Pretty darn good. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now, a potential fumbled snap that can get returned, a strip sack that can get returned, right? Any of those types of plays, that should be a deterrent to calling something that could get you in big trouble. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Kill, kill, kill. Turn it up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn it up. Check, check, check. Check, check. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Gonzalez to kick off for Arizona. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. Taking it about the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. At their own 20-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. run got three now here's second and seven they stay on the ground McCaffrey again three yards on the pickup that's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day From the gun on third down. Brennan steps away to his left. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Looking to throw on second down. Brennan. Short pass to the tight end, Hollister. 
Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Brennan. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Palmer. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. At the 43-yard line. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. up second and 11 at the 42-yard line. Second and 11 now. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. start penalty certainly not helping their cause here second down and long switch 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 it switch it switch it come on switch it hey hey check 24 check 24 Again, they run again it's McCaffrey and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. It's now third down and long. to his right this one complete to Curtis Samuel and he gets this to the 48 but no further well short of the line to gain they pick up 10 but it'll still lead to a fourth down here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina this is fielded at the seven It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and ten deep in their own territory. to go with their next drive and at the line the Cardinal offense. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. 
Throwing again. Murray going up top. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target, but now it'll be third down. But well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Throwing is Murray on third down. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. the ground McCaffrey and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown a 16 yard touchdown run and the Panthers have taken the lead people always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision and he found the spot there went into the end zone you're exactly right about that it wasn't just the vision right once he saw the gap decisiveness made up his mind and about the power to finish the play not only did he get good blocking he created his own space as well and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of 7, past the 30 to the 32. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They'll keep it on the ground. Crowder, and they're gonna get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. complete and he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion his first reception of the divisional round matchup but it's good for a first down as well one quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game we'll return with more after this, this is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Murray now on first down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. <laughs> On first. 
first and ten. Here's Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. To throw again. Murray. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. to go deep for Kirk and unable to connect incomplete now give them credit they took their shot but it's going to bring up fourth down as this old brain remembers when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender I know the ball's coming out hot they expected it and got there and popped it free now on fourth down on is the punt team sending this one away and this is a beauty as that ball's going to angle out at the six yard line and for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, they're through an opening, and there he goes. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. A big play there from McCaffrey. 66 yards for him on the ground. The 28-yard line. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. This is McCaffrey. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it, and this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? McCaffrey following the penalty. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. The Panthers on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 11. Three, 
from the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he will not get what he needed as he stopped short of the first down and around the 22. Seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And this one is right through. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. That holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And all the way down to the 35. Complete to number A big time play there by the Cardinals. 51 yards. Arizona. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Now here's a throw that's complete. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. 33 yards that time. First and goal, Arizona. They'll try to run this one in. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuck from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. A big one coming in this divisional round playoff. Third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And this time he is in. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. But they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. To kick off for Arizona. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Whistles now in a timeout defensively. So a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come again. Here I come again. They'll run with 
from McCaffrey. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. He's brought three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. It's third and one. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a run with McCaffrey. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. few times here today this run's not going to go anywhere the Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down This is McCaffrey on the give. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They go down to a knee, and with that, they're off to the NFC title game. So with that knee, they take care of business in the divisional round. They'll be back here at home next weekend. One more hurdle to get to the big show. The good feelings, they just keep coming. They get to ride that wave for at least one more week because they have their big prize in their eyes, and that's getting into the Super Bowl. But they have to win next week after winning this one. The Panthers' season will press on as we say so long, everybody. For Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on e